We look like the Michelin men. At birth, wear these. No. <laughs> no, that's too much. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined with my mom. Hello. But it is actually Halloween today, the day I'm filming this. So I've gone for like a little bit spooky makeup. I've tried to draw a cobweb on my eye. It's sort That's of filled. Really cute. But these are really cute. Yeah, these are nice. from Claire's. Um, and then I've got a spooky scrunchie in my hair too, but you can't really see that. But I thought that we would just film a little drive with me. Quick fire Q&A whilst also trying, even though I'm on Halloween right now, the Starbucks Christmas menu. Only currently available on the Starbucks Rewards app, but it is coming very, very soon. Probably tomorrow. Like, I imagine November the 1st is Probably, when they yeah. transition from their autumn menu to their Christmas menu. So, to go along with that change, I thought I would try it because Starbucks is one of the best places for Christmas drink. Exciting, isn't it? It is quite exciting. I thought I'd bring my mum along because she Why was not? going out anyway. And I thought, before you go out, I'll drop you off if we can just scratch, scratch. pass Starbucks. Free coffee. Free coffee. <laughs> We're gonna order. Well, I've already placed my order on the app. I've never done this before. We can't get Starbucks delivered. Maybe know. we can get Starbucks delivered, but I know, I've How never would you done do that? that. I don't know. That is gotta be like it's very the lazy. laziest thing to do ever. This is what I've ordered: caramel waffle latte, eggnog latte, very American. Yeah. Toffin cream cold brew. I'm not sure if that's tea or coffee, to be honest. Probably tea. Yeah. And I never know how you say that word. I think it's praline. Praline cookie hot chocolate. So these are, I think, four out of the five flavours they're bringing out for Christmas. They're also doing gingerbread. Everybody knows what gingerbread tastes like, and I've had it from Starbucks before. I don't think I've had any of these before. That one sounds more Halloween. Toffee nut cream cold brew. Maybe it is. I don't think it is. They do still have their Halloween menu out because I could have ordered, which I thought was really cool. Their sour apple frappuccino. Yeah. Looks horrible. Though. So we are going gonna set off and collect these and then do a little review. I've asked some questions as well. I'm sure the whole street wanted to listen to be jeweled, to be fair. Also, I think we just made it sound like we was getting them for free because I said, a, a, what's wrong with the free coffee? I oh no, we're not. You. Yeah, no, as soon as I've paid. <laughs> Starbucks, if you want to give me free coffee any time, though. Yeah. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> What are they doing? Oh, they're reverse parking. Oh, I think they're trying to reverse park. That's okay, you take your time. No, they're parallel parking. Yeah, that's what I meant. We'll just stop here for the ladder driver. Do you have a lot of options? No, <laughs> that's true. What's your opinion on the new Taylor Swift album? It's good, I like it. <laughs> Guys, that's a rave review coming from my mum. Mm -hmm. Not my type of music, but I like it. What, that album or her, just generally? Just her, generally. Is that album more your type of music? Um. Yeah, maybe. They've messed it up. They've messed yeah, it up. They've overshot. That's they're me. They're conscious trying to... that we're sat watching, that's why. Yeah, that's me. That's how I try to parallel park. I've been passed for five and a half years and I've only parallel parked once. Actually, he did do it. They were the army, so they should know what they're doing. It's true. Well, I don't think that means that you can automatically parallel park. <laughs> you don't tend to need to parallel park a tank. <laughs> Back on the T Swift. Mm. Which is your favourite song? The one that's called Midnight. No, it's not called Midnight. What's it called? The album is called Midnight. No, but there's a song called that. No, Midnight Rain. That. Is that the one you mean? Yeah. And I like Bejeweled, but I don't know if that's because you're singing it constantly. Anyway, guys, we're, we're, we're headed to Starbucks. I will uh, pick you up over there. Yeah. We're back. We're back from Starbucks. Mm. We have been to collect the goods. That is I don't really want the pressure of this. Here we go, guys. We have our four Starbucks drinks that we've ordered. I don't want to tip them too far, but we've got the... What's this one? Praline Cookie Hot Chocolate. Eggnog latte, caramel waffle latte, and then the toffee, toffee nut iced brew, which he did explain doesn't usually look like this. So this is the iced one. And he says usually it's got cream, but they didn't have any. So this is coconut milk, which I guess is still quite a thick consistency anyway. And we've got hot chocolate and two other lattes. Wait, wait, which is the hot chocolate? The praline cookie hot chocolate. Ooh. Would you like to try that one first? Ooh, yeah. Thank you. I think, good service as well. Yeah, it was really good service. They were literally there waiting on the counter when we got there. I'm going to try the caramel waffle latte. I think that that is uh, the one I'm most excited for. That's the eggnog. I don't think I like eggnog. What film? The, no, what? What's the Christmas film? Is it the Santa Claus? Yeah, did you see that Tim Allen's coming back as the Santa Claus? No. They're doing the Santa Claus 5 or whatever it was. He's coming back. Oh, wow. Yeah. On Disney Plus, I think. Four. Would it be four? No, I think there is Santa Claus four. Or maybe not. Right. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, this one smells like a, a quality street. Yeah, praline. That's in quality street. Is that not just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the triangle. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So sweet, though. Oh, that's delicious, but very sweet. That is like drinking at a quality street. Do you know what I'm sad, actually, about? Tomorrow, the red cups will come out. Uh. I don't have them in the red cups, but that's okay. What was this one? Caramel waffle. I'm not sure it tastes like a waffle. Actually, mm, do you want to try that? 
praline hot chocolate. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like oh. that. No. Mm. Tastes like medicine. And I don't like that. Really? No. Oh, there you go then. Here you go. Easy swap. Yeah, I prefer that one. I'm going to try this. I'm most intrigued by this because I'm sort of like, what is going on? This is the Toffee Nut Cold Brew. That looks like it should be something for Halloween. It's got... Like, what's going on there? It's the milk. It's the way the milk's like... Is it curdled? No, no. I think it's just like not been mixed. It's quite nice. I thought it was going to be really strong. Like, it looks like it's just straight espresso at the bottom, but it's not. I think maybe it's because it's coconut milk that it's sitting like that. Not bad. Oh no, don't like that. Really? No. Oh no. No? That's, okay. That's a big no from me. Okay, well I think this one's going to be a big no from me, so at least we're even so far. <laughs> this is the eggnog latte. I just don't think I like eggnog. What did he ask if we wanted in it? Nutmeg. Nutmeg, what is that? That's what you would have on top of. It's like a, I mean, it's not a spice, but. It smells like a spice, like a cinnamony kind of thing. Yeah, you have it on top of like egg custard and that type of thing, don't they? I could take or leave it. It tastes really earthy. It tastes really like... But that's what I thought about that one. No, no. I don't mind that. Well, that's good. We've got two each then. I just think it has like a... It might be the nutmeg. Something tastes really like spicy. What actually is eggnog? I don't know. Because I it, presume I'm not drinking egg. I think it does have egg in it. But probably not from Starbucks. I'm not imagining they're whisking up an egg yeah. every time they're making that coffee. Can you tell us what eggnog is? Yeah, somebody in the comments. <laughs> probably American. I think it is. I mean, I know it's American. I mean, somebody American could probably tell I'm not sure how many just American Google viewers. It. I also ask you guys over on Instagram um, for a couple of questions, just quick fire questions to throw into this. I'm not prepared for this. I know, I really put mum on the spot. That's why I'm not properly ready. You are properly ready. Oh, this is a good one. What's your favourite ride at Disney World? Hmm. I mean, I absolutely love the Avatar one, but it scares me. Really? Yeah. Avatar Flight of Passage? Yeah. That is a good ride and all the new ones that we did, all the Star Wars ones. I think I would actually have to pick um, Guardians of the no, Galaxy. that's a no from me. Every time I hear that song now. <laughs> I think old time classics, our like family favorites are probably like Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, of the Caribbean yeah. Big Thunder Mountain, yeah, all, Space Mountain, Splash all Mountain. Bits, like flagship. Specifically the Magic yeah, Kingdom ones. Yeah, also. yeah. Um, but then there's Test Track, there's Soarin'. Have you seen them testing Tron? I have seen them testing mm, trolley. Not yeah. yet, though. No. Okay, this is interesting. What did your mum think that you would do for a job when you were little? A weather girl. You thought it was going to be a weather girl? always going to be a weather girl. I did want to be a weather girl. girl. <laughs> that was a phase, though, when I was like four. Yeah, no, you had lots of phase. I don't know. I don't think that's something I've ever thought about. Really? No, not really. I guess by the time I was old enough to be starting to think about jobs in a serious way, I was already sort of doing you this was job. Doing this. I'm still deciding what I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, have you noticed? away from her she's everywhere <laughs> can i ask you a question you guys are asking me a question mm, so that was fitting what? Somebody said, have you noticed a difference in your hair since you mentioned it was thinning in your vlogs? I would say probably yes, and you've heard me complaining about this quite a lot. Oh, just a bit. All right. I think it's not falling out at the rate that it was when I mentioned it in the summer. Like, definitely not, because I used to be able to do this, and I'd just be pulling out, like, handfuls of hair. But I've kind of come to the conclusion this is probably just something I'm going to deal with my whole life, because it's been on and off for, like, four years now. Probably more than that. Four, three, four, five years. Like, it goes in stages, and my hair just says, like, everybody's hair comes out in stages but like most people's hair pattern they have like a b and c strand hairs this is how you learn it apparently if you're a hairdresser and like they don't all fall out together they're not on the same cycle whereas if they are you'll notice it a lot more because suddenly all of your hair will fall out like at the same time whereas normally people have like their a strands of hair will share oh, and right. then their b, b strands of hair. yeah my hairdresser explained it really thoroughly and she said if that is you and all of your cycles are just like lined up so they all fall out at the same time you will always have that and you'll notice it it's every time it's very unfortunate it's kind of like a dog like you know how a dog sheds for winter no because our dog well doesn't. our dog doesn't <laughs> shed but like normally <laughs> this has bits in and i can't work out what they are i think it's waffle i saw somebody had asked you what have you been doing to make it healthier but i don't think you've been doing anything i mean i haven't i've been trying to use heat less but i've not been too good at that because like I, I do have to use heat on my hair if i'm going anywhere like formal because my natural hair just does not cooperate but when i have been using heat i've been using like proper heat defense i've been washing it a lot less which i personally think helps like i wash my hair twice a week now i notice it comes out a lot more when i wash it so washing it less i don't know if that's just like a psychological thing because i don't see it as often but i also think it's healthier for your hair like especially because there's a lot of bleach in it to let your natural oils come back through your hair is really important who's your mum's favorite music artist this is a good one since all we talk about is taylor swift <laughs> yeah not taylor swift my taste in music's a bit weird. It's all over the shop, yeah. Mm. I mean, predominantly the 1975. Yeah. 
Panic at the Disco. I would say that's probably who I listen to the most. I feel like you've got some like throwback people as well that you'd really like. I listen to anything really. Yeah, mum will listen to most music. I feel like Guns N' Roses. Yeah, if you're going back further. Yeah. Robbie, you definitely had a Robbie phase. Yeah. I feel like it is probably the 1975. Well, that's what they, they are the definitely worst. your top. Definitely, yeah. If you had Spotify wrapped. Have yeah. you ever done Spotify wraps? Yeah, yeah, it does. Is it the 1975? Yeah, predominantly. Do you keep your tomato ketchup in the fridge or the cupboard? <laughs> this causes real debate. Yeah, it does. In the fridge. Sorry. <laughs> Never used to. You don't buy it off no, out of the fridge at the supermarket. The fridge, no, no. no, I sort of disagree actually because we have brown sauce in the cupboard, mm. but we have ketchup in the fridge. The only thing that should be in the fridge is mayonnaise, but we don't keep bread in the fridge. Bread? People keep bread in the fridge. Oh, it goes hard. But it sort of keeps it fresh. Do you think you'll get any other pets? Ooh, I don't know. Mum wants another dog. I quite like another dog. Which is so funny because when we got Lottie, <laughs> it was me, my dad and Harry that were like team Lottie, team Cockapoo. We literally had a separate group chat without my mum in it, like discussing getting the dog to just like- Operation Cockapoo. Operation Cockapoo. Because we were like, if we just ambush her with the plan and the plan's already happened, she can't say no. <laughs> and now, now it's mum being team second dog. Yeah, I maybe would like another dog. Not, would, not just yet. Would you get another cockapoo? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's so but cute. not yet. I know, obviously, hindsight is like, you can't know, but it would be lovely to have had two dogs from the same litter. I really wish we'd have done that. I really do wish we'd have done that, but we can't now. No, but that's okay. I just think there's something that sounds quite nice about, oh, now I'm taking the dogs out rather than I'm just going on a dog walk. <laughs> it's like you know I'm, I'm taking the kids to school, but I'm taking my one, one child to school. <laughs> yeah. um, I could be guaranteed to get one the same as Lottie as well. That's what I think is a bit of a risk because you can't guarantee they're going to be the same like temperament. No, and we've been so lucky because she's so good. Mm. But then I suppose you take that risk when you have a second child. Don't yeah, I mean, I was obviously such a <laughs> blessing was perfect. that they wanted another. <laughs> That's the beauty of being the first child. You've obviously done a good enough job because then they've had, they've exactly. had another one. I think I did a good job. But you stopped after Harry, so that must have been like, woof, quite enough. <laughs> He's a handful. You were both good children. What age do you think Molly will get married at? Oof. There's always a marriage question. Oof. There's always always a marriage question. What's to say she will? Mm -hmm. Would you be annoyed if I didn't? No. Mm. Which is really weird because when I was your age, that was like, no, absolutely, you've got to get married, you've got to get married. By the time you were 23, you were engaged to dad. Yeah. That's wild to me. That's like acting Wait, crazy. 23, was I? Yeah, you got married at 24. Yeah, but people did then. I know, I know, but I just can't believe that. Like, when I see people now on Facebook <laughs> and they're like, oh, a ring, and I'm like, you're a child. And they were like, in my school year, and then I'm like, oh, they're not actually a child anymore. But back in my day, like, it was the done thing. You got engaged and then got married, whereas now I just don't think, I just, you do you. But if you had to be like, oh, I think you should get married at an age, what age would you say? Not yet, you're too young. In my head, I think, presuming that I'm still with Tom, I wouldn't mind being married before I'm 30, but like, near towards that side of your 20s than like early 20s definitely somebody said does your mum find it hard when you're away and harry's at uni yes. and the house is quiet yeah 100 percent yes yeah she does especially because my dad works away a lot and the dog doesn't speak even though we pretend the dog is a human <laughs> she doesn't actually talk back and she didn't even like me no she's my dad's dog through and through <laughs> if you get another you need to train it yeah, really well so that it's your dog another. yeah <laughs> when you're away i spend all the time complaining that the house is too tidy and too quiet and then the minute everybody's home i'm like like, well, you put stuff away, it's yeah. too untidy. Yeah. I get back and she's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you're back and stuff. Stuff everywhere. For like the first 24 hours and then she's like, can you please tidy your mess, put it away, close that door, tidy up your suitcase and like, that. Um, but yes, the answer to that is 100% I do. But I think you're better with it now. It's like I'm giving you trials because yeah. I keep going and then coming back and then going and then coming and back. And you always come back, both of you. Yeah. Somebody said, where's next on your mum's travel bucket list? Ooh, still waiting to go to Dubai. That didn't happen. That didn't happen and hasn't been rescheduled. No. It's where things start to differ because like dad wants to go to Vegas and I'm really not at that all bothered, yeah. interested in doing that. Dad could go to Vegas and you could just go somewhere else at the same time. I'm happy to go anywhere. Is there anywhere you've been that you'd like to go back to? I like going different places really, with the exception of Disney, which doesn't count. Yeah. I like going to different places rather than back to the same place. Mm. I'd like to go to another Caribbean island. I knew you were going to say the Caribbean. I do like the Caribbean. How yeah. many Caribbean islands have not you been to? Not that many. Three, I think. I'd quite like to go to, where did you go? Go with Rachel. Oh, Prague. Yeah, I'd quite like to go there. That looked really nice. Yeah, Prague was yeah. lovely. Never been there. Again, that's the kind of place though you can just go for a weekend. Yeah, I'd like, like to do something like that. I'd Christmas. Quite, I'd like to do a Christmas market. The Christmas markets in Prague yeah, are meant to be insane. But that would have a, like a, a things bucket All right, what's list. top of your things bucket list? I've crossed a few off recently, but the one thing still on it is Wimbledon. Oh, Wimbledon's mm. on your bucket list. Yeah, that'd be really cool. 
because I had Silverstone on there, but I've done that. Glastonbury's on mine. Oh yeah, that's still I'd on there, but I did do, do Leeds, so that, that can be the same. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of the end of it. I finished my coffee. You finished your hot I chocolate. I have. It was very nice. Thank you. I mean, I'm actually really impressed that we managed to get hold of the Christmas drinks because when I was looking online, it was like, oh, they're not out yet. I told you they were. Yeah, mum was like, no, they are, but they're only available on the Starbucks Rewards app. It sounds sponsored, uh, but I think they're coming out probably very, very soon. We're going to go now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you've tried any of these, let me know in the comments which is your mm. favourite. I'm team caramel waffle latte. The hot chocolate was delicious. Yeah, I mean, we do actually have two left. I'm going to give one to dad. I might actually just have the cold brew latte as well, but I feel like two lattes. I might be like vibrating around the house. <laughs> well, you are busy. I am actually. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I have some very exciting videos coming Ooh. so, so soon. And other than that, I hope you had a lovely Halloween, whatever you got up to, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hi. Oh, guys, I just turned the camera off. It was all going too well. Me. Oh, it knocks it over. I told you I had bits in it. It's, it's not a good day today, is it? For spilling it. Oh, yeah, mum smashed her phone. This hey, excuse morning. me. No, no, mum didn't. <laughs> Dad smashed mum's phone on the floor. No, that makes it sound like he did it in anger. <laughs> he dropped it. Now, this has happened. Oh, that'll be sticky and smelly yeah, forever. You'll have to